Hi guys and welcome to Marie's Acrylic and Gel Nails. Um, I've had some of you ask me how would I do a manicure on a gentleman. So the hand can wave. I have a gentleman customer here who's being suckered into doing this video with me. So I can't say volunteered because um, he wouldn't see it that way. So what I'm doing on the side is I'm just putting some what's it called cleaning soak in my manicure bowl. Just put um, one to two pumps in each one, and I've got an orange wood stick, and I'm just cleaning them up. So just making sure that the soak is all mixed. Next I would do a client card, but I know this client so I don't really need to. But I'm going to ask him to take said hands now and pop them in the water. And I'm going to need that other hand, please. Just put it there. So thumbs go into, thank you. So generally it's a two minute little soak. So because we're on time restrictions, we're just going to soak one for a little bit. I'm going to move this bowl over here a bit out of our way. Bad Lexi. Okay, I'll have that hand. Just pop it there. So all I'm going to do is just pad off some of the moisture. I'm going to have a, a look and assess what he needs to be doing. So first off I'm going to get out my Vanish cuticle cream which actually dissolves excess cuticle. And I'm going to Massage some of that in around his cuticles on this hand. And I'm going to get my little cuticle pusher and start getting off the excess. You could always have, also need a curette. I don't actually know where mine is sitting at the moment so I'm just going to put a little bit of vanish under here and just run it under his free edge just to help clean it up it's very important when you're doing manicures because it doesn't matter how much oh, is that the right word um, you, your gentleman is um, and you'll see in this one when I get to that spot that there's going to be some things that I'll do a little differently like he's not going to want his nail bed it's buffed and polished and he's certainly not going to require at all Uh, a clear nail polish put on his nails um, because of the type of work he does and things like that all we're doing is just softening up his skin and taking some good care of his nails because he gets because of the work he does he gets very rough hands So I'll put this hand back into soak and I'm going to pause. I'll do the same thing with his other hand. I'm just going to dry it off and put the vanish on it. So I'll pause, I'll do that and I'll come back at the next step. 
Okay guys, we're back. Now he's just going to take his hand out of the soak and I'm going to give him a bit of a dry. Okay, so before I actually start doing any filing, I'm just going to grab out my cuticle nippers and he's just got a hangnail just here so I'm just going to grab it so you, all you want to do is just close, you don't pull up and open. If it doesn't get it the first time, you go back a second time. Don't pull because that's how you rip and tear things. So other than that, they're pretty good. So I'm just going to grab my file now. His nails are nice and softened. And if he hadn't bit them all off, I would have cut them. But I'm just now going to use the file to tidy up his nails. Make sure with your gentleman clients you explain the difference between what a cuticle is and the echidnicium is and why you're removing the dead skin off his nails because um, you know this is something that men are starting to do but they don't really understand the process so the information is generally helpful to them so they understand especially about the cuticle growing on the nail plate that it's sort of I explain it that it acts like a glue and um, glues the nail down and stops new growth and it makes the nail grow through thinner and weaker too so it's always better to remove remove that dead skin off the nail plate And remember the same thing, you don't saw a natural nail, you just go from one side to the other. You can, if you need to, bevel down. So finally, before I start using my rest of my skin products, what I'm going to do to this hand for this client is I'm just going to grab out the 240 side of my file, which is a light buffer. I am going to grab now my cuticle oil. I'm going to put a drop down. I'm going to massage it in around the cuticles and over his nail plate. And I'm going to give it a light buff. Okay. And the only reason why I'm giving it that light buff is it'll it helps promote circulation down through to help the nails grow, which you might not be happy about. And I do say that because his nails grow very quickly. He's lucky. While I'm buffing his nails, I'm noticing he has, and it's because of the type of work he does, he has a lot of ridges. So if I was at the end going to polish, I would actually first put on a coat um, as my base of ridge filler um, before I actually
painted with the clear. Because you don't want to file off those ridges because you'll make his nail weak. So that hand's going to go in to soak. Just going to put a last little drop. Now it's all nicely buffed in. So, and I'll come back when I've done his other hand. Okay, now we're ready for our next step. I'm just going to grab this hand again and I'm going to take it out and dry it. Now you have two choices from here. You can finish off and do a very basic manicure. I'm going to go one step further because of what he works in. I'm going to treat him a little bit and we're going to do it a little bit of a more of a spa manicure so this is my fluid lime and citrus salt and it's going to exfoliate all the all his skin on his hands you can take it up their arms if you want I don't generally do that But I'm just going to rub this salt in gently and make sure I get in every nook and cranny. And I'm just going to leave it there for a minute to sit and absorb. So I'm going to grab his other hand. And you don't need a lot of this product. I'm only probably using just that much on my end of my spoon does help to moisten the product just a little bit because it is so it makes it easier to rub into his skin and this will lift off all the dead skin cells on his hands and make them nice smooth and baby soft not that he has that much of a problem So I'm just going to remove the salt, dust my hands. So to really activate it, I have this activating lotion. Um, and what this is going to do now is dissolve all that salt and help push it into his the skin. So I'm just massaging the rest of it through there's a little bit that left there not much and the same on his other hand So all I'm going to do there now is just grab a towel and wipe off the excess of everything. And that side of it's done. Now yes there's a little bit of grit but this last step he's going to have to go and actually physically wash his hands. And I'll pause you while this is, he's sitting in this mask because it takes about 10 to 15 minutes. This is a clay mask, citrus mask that's going to sit on the skin now. And you can either wet some towels and heat them up in a microwave to apply heat to help it push through a little bit more um, but because he's a gentleman I'm not going to do that I'm just going to wrap his hands up in some towels um, 
It's just so he doesn't get it everywhere on himself in his clothes. So I'll just wipe my hands briefly. So all I'm going to do is get this big nice one towel, wrap it around, I'm going to move that and place him down there to sit and wait. So we'll be back shortly. As we're back, so I've washed off all that mud pack off his hands. Now, next step would be a, a massage now because this client client is fairly gentleman is fairly hairy. All I'm going to do is a gentle massage with some nurture. Um, what do they call it? It's nurture lotion. Um, and this one's green tea and ginger. And I'm just going to just gently massage his hand so and his fingers. I'll do this hand. So there'd be some people out there who'd want the full, or some gentlemen who'd want the full massage up to their elbow. Others don't, and that's when you've got to know your client. And don't be afraid to ask questions, because for some it's a new experience for them as well as for yourself to do. So they don't know what they're going to like until you do it. So... Now with this client is where you decide what you're going to do and how you're going to finish this off. So I'm going to do two fingers on this hand to show you two different ways. So he can have this hand back now um, of how you can finish off. So the first way you can finish off is I'm going to just give some neutral, some cuticle oil again. I'm going to drop it on and I'm just going to get my buffer and it is a buffing pad it's not a sanding block and um, you can also use those chamois buffers um, to do this and I am just going to buff that oil into his nail until we get a nice super high shine like that okay so that's one way you can finish it off the second way is you would get a little bit of non-acetone to wipe off the oils that you've put onto the hand and I will have to remove this for him so I've got some ridge filler here from NSI and I'm just going to put one coat because this nail's not particularly bad if it was particularly bad I'd put two but his thumbs are actually worse so I'm just going to put one coat let that dry for a minute now depending on the type of shine you want on the nail you can base coat it and then top coat it but because I'm just I'm going to remove it we are just going to give it a top coat and this is just a standard OPI top coat um, you could use a high setting one 
um, like chassis V um, OPI has a rapid dry anything like that it's just up to you because I'm removing this I'm just using my OPI top coat so you know it's just that one so that's the two finished nails the two finished ways you can finish them that one's buffed with oil that one's polished and what you would do would be do all ten fingers depending on the way you want to finish them off and once it's all finished you would then finish off again the whole service once everything's dry with a small amount of cuticle oil again around the cuticles and that is how you do a male many I hope you've all enjoyed seeing this and will give our male client a huge thank you for lending us his hands and I hope you guys have found it helpful. Till next time, keep safe, peace, love and mwah.